They know that the political establishment, we should all say, not anymore. Not mad at for the first time in my life. Kính thưa quý vị các thính giả của chương trình Phố Bosa TV, hôm nay là ngày thứ bảy, 7 tây tháng 5 năm 2016. Chúng tôi đang có mặt ở thành phố Temecula, cách Lido Sài Gòn khoảng chừng 70 dặm về phía đông nam. Thành phố Temecula có xu hướng thiên về đảng Cộng Hòa. Ngày hôm nay, ngay tại nơi đây sẽ có buổi tập hợp của nhiều người tập trung để ủng hộ cho ứng cử viên Tổng thống Donald Trump. Sau khi hai đối thủ là ứng cử viên Ted Cruz và ứng cử viên John Kasich đã bỏ cuộc đua, thì ứng cử viên Donald Trump gần như sẽ trở thành ứng cử viên của Đảng Cộng Hòa cho chức vụ Tổng thống năm 2016. Hillary Clinton, who shown she could care less about our troops, could care less about the people who died in Benghazi, or Donald Trump, who's vowed to support our military and support our veterans. There's only one choice. Trump! 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 Trump. One of the few people that supported her of a national prominence was Donald Trump. Everybody else ran for the woods. The GOP, the Republicans, the rhinos all ran for the woods. They didn't want to touch the constitutional issue. But this brave lady stood, st stood strong for the Constitution of the United States. I'm so honored to be here. I have to tell you, I was born and raised in a communist country where we could not have rallies like this, where we could not stand up against the ruling establishment. And when, ca when I came to this country, I felt so honored uh, and so proud to become an American citizen and be, can you hear me? and be able to stand up for the rights of fellow citizens. Now I'm here to show my support for Donald Trump here for president. I'm here to also holding this sign there for the uh, those that have all those that have been killed by illegal immigrants here in, the, in this country. And that's a real shame here as I see it. Để ủng hộ ông Donald Trump tại vì cái việc Ông làm là rất đúng và rất chính xác để ủng hộ những gì ông đang có ý định làm cho nước Mỹ và để phải có mặt ở đây để ủng hộ ông Donald Trump. Thì những cái việc ông làm là những cái việc đúng và để ủng hộ. Chúng ta chúng ta thấy là cái nạn di dân đó, là có nhiều cái dân tội phạm nó đi chung với những cái người di dân, di dân lậu đó. Đúng, di dân bất hợp pháp và có rất nhiều tội phạm trong trong đó. Và chúng ta cần cái bức tường đó để mà giữ những cái cái, cái đó ở ra ngoài nước Mỹ. Both of these lives and all the lives here behind me were stolen, preventable deaths that should not have taken place because laws are not enforced and borders not enforced and politicians not having our families as their priority. Now, the Remembrance Project honors and remembers Americans who've been killed by illegal aliens. And there is one man one candidate, one brave soul, who is speaking the truth and who lit that fuse. His name is Donald J. Trump. Of more Americans who think like you, who believe as you believe. You know, if you come here, come here the right way and and every single American must demand that come here the right way and also follow our laws if you have an expired visa renew it or go ahead and leave and that that's as simple as that Americans are held to the rule of law so should non citizens we are very concerned that the the wrong information is getting out about Mr. Trump and we're here to support Mr. Trump because uh, the media seems to be saying that he's a racist, he's a bigot, and he does not concerned about minorities, and he very much is concerned about minorities. My name is John Zeitz. I'm a city council person from the city of Canyon Lake, which is a private community and uh, a city just north of here, about 18 miles. And I'm here because I think we all, whether you're an elected person or just general public, have an obligation to uh, participate in the electoral process. And uh, not only is Trump our presumptive uh, nominee for the Republican Party, and I'm a Republican, although I sit in a non-partisan uh, position, I am a Republican, and I supported Trump because I think he can do a lot of the things that he said he's going to do, and it's great for America.
great for us. We need to have this investment in our own country and to get people back into jobs and do all the things that he's talked about. And uh, the least I can do is, is to support him. I think people start to die physically and emotionally when they stop taking an interest in what's going on in their lives. And this is a big part of our lives. And so I want to be part of it and uh, I think this is a good thing to do. What is the most important thing that make you vote for him? Well, I think the jobs, the jobs issues. We're, we're losing too much. We have a situation here in the Inland Empire where we don't have brownouts anymore. We don't have the electrical problems. And I asked the Edison Company why, and part of it is because we don't have businesses. We don't have factories. We don't have stuff. We just have services. We need to bring the, 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 the factories back to California, back to the United States, and employ people so that they can, they can have jobs and not handouts and participate. So we have taxes as a city, as a state, and as a federal government. And, uh, and I think that's the best thing that I, I think from him. We have the immigration problem, all those other problems, but uh, uh, I like the jobs issue. It doesn't matter what your background or your immigration status is as far as, you know, if you're born here or you immigrated. As long as you came here legally, you're very welcome and you are, you, he's going to take care of everybody. So it's, uh, I think Asians should definitely look at that and um, support Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton will just use the, eth uh, the ethnicities, the ethnic people. She will use them, but she does not care about them. She uses Latinos, she uses blacks, and I presume she will use Asians to try to secure the nomination. But she only cares about her rich, elite donors, and people need to see that. She's got a 30, 40 year history in politics of doing that. She's not going to change when she becomes president. We've got to put in the guy that puts America first and American citizens first. My name is George Rombach, and myself and Douglas Gibbs, uh, a separate organization of a, a constitution association which the, many members of the group were here today to support Donald Trump's uh, candidacy uh, for president. Uh, our main focus of our group is to train Americans into the meaning of the Constitution and to also set up the audit of the federal government for how well they have complied with the Constitution and its provisions. I, I know you've been here quite a while, so I'll just keep that statement short there. But we're here to support Donald Trump because we believe that he will help us bring the Constitution back as our ruling law in the nation, which has been badly abused by our current administration. And we don't care about what race you are. We like white, black, Latinos, um, Asians. We love you all. We just want to work together. It used to be that way, but the new influx of Latinos that are coming in, they do not want to assimilate. They just want to take over. They want to hire their own. And so they push the whites out, the Asians out, the blacks out. We can't even get jobs. And for what? For people that have no right to this country. And it's sad that our government would not um, stand by us. So Donald Trump is like our savior, basically. He's going to do something great. He's going to help everybody, including black. He loves black. He's not prejudiced. He's not racist. If you read his immigration policies, it says really good, the blacks have been hurt the most. And he will not stand up to blacks because he loves blacks. He only wants to help us. I guess I'm just here to support Trump. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited for him to be the president, and I want to help make that happen. When we're dealing with other countries, it's got to be America first. And I think he understands that. Sau khi có buổi tập hợp ở bên trong một công viên với nhiều bài phát biểu, bây giờ mọi người trong đoàn biểu tình tập hợp để ủng hộ cho ứng cử viên Donald Trump đi ra ngoài dọc ở các bên đường để mà có thể vận động những người qua đường cùng ủng hộ thông điệp của họ, ủng hộ cho ông Donald Trump. Chúng ta thấy mọi người với nhiều biểu ngữ cờ ở ngoài đây phóng loa vào những xe đi đường để có thể đưa thông điệp của họ. Và bên cạnh đó chúng ta thấy có nhiều cảnh sát cũng đứng để mà giữ trật tự cho mọi người.
không khí tương đối rất là ôn hòa, ôn yên bình vì không có lực lượng à, biểu tình chống lại à, những người này giống như đã từng xảy ra ở thành phố Costa Mesa cách đây mấy tuần. My name is Greg Britton. I'm a cabinet member of the Redlands Tea Party Patriots and a board member of the Unite IE Coalition, although those groups haven't endorsed anybody here. The, um, I'm also on the Unite IE radio show on Saturdays, AM 590. Why am I here? Because America's in trouble. America is, de is in decline, and Donald Trump is the only candidate who has the courage and the ability to turn things around. He's, I acknowledge that he's General Patton. He may, not, he may not be the most politically correct guy, but he's a great leader and he's our best hope that we have. I came here to support Trump because he wants to build a wall to keep illegals out. I used to live in Orange County. I li now live in Beaumont, California. And we had a nice, clean community when I lived in Orange County, it's Cypress, California. Illegals moved in next door within two years our neighborhood was destroyed. We had graffiti, we had car windows broken, we had our house windows broken. It just became like a ghetto within two years. Before that, for 25 years, it was a nice, safe, quiet, clean community. After legals moved next door, that all ended.